Well, I'm, I'm unaffiliated. David Norton is the name, and um, it's my name, and I'm here visiting to find out a little bit more about what the DPLA is doing. I've been following and very involved in um, this library services and digital reading for about 15 years, and I've been amazed at how fast, well, actually how slow things have gone for a long time, and then how fast they've recently picked up. So I was really happy to hear about the DPLA. And um, after years of uh, looking around university libraries and also public libraries and how little some of the digital information was really being used, um, there are systems set up, but as far as just for the average person who comes in, e-readers didn't exist not too long ago. Um, a couple of the libraries would load stuff onto some of the e-readers and then you'd go and try to find out if they're being used and nobody was using them. Um, it was just not something that was being done. And now, suddenly, electronic books are becoming really, really important. So that's kind of generally what I've been following and uh, looking at. From your background and from what you've been learning about the DPLA, what's your vision for an ideal DPLA? Well, my particular focus is, instead of really broad, I'm very interested in, uh, from an educational um, perspective, for public schools in particular, but all schools, um, elementary through high school, K through 12, um, having kids having access to getting information and being able to, to really do a lot more research. If you look at the, the, all the issues with funding and what's going on with public libraries, especially in schools, there have been all kinds of uh, lack of funds, as you're well aware. So anyway, um, my interest is in hoping that the DPLA will change all kinds of research and availability to information for students. And as curriculum are changing now and textbooks are disappearing, um, just in the paper the other day, Muncie, Indiana, I believe it is, um, and various places are going to full digital, or they're requiring the students or they're giving them laptops and they're going fully digital with no textbooks at all and things go online, uh, this will wrap into that. And so the types of research and availability of information that students have will be quite amazing. I mean, my personal experiences in my lifetime, some of the things that happened were, it just really depends on where you live. Uh, local libraries were, I won't mention the city, but in certain areas were just awful. Um, and you really couldn't have access to stuff. And some of the books and information that they had were so outdated that if you were looking something up, you'd be researching it on something that's just not relevant. Uh, so anyway, universities play a really big important part for that and a lot of um, elementary, especially high school kids don't have access to something like that. Um, in the areas where you are, if students can get to the big universities in the Boston area, that's fantastic. But a lot of students don't have access to that and it's a very limited number. Uh, you see faculty that teach at various universities. They're high schools and elementary schools attached to those universities to encourage the faculty to, for their children to go there and they have access to the main libraries at the universities but um, for people in the general population it really isn't uh, that good and the last is very quickly um, if you're just trying to learn stuff or just trying to see new things sometimes just wandering through a university library for example you stumble upon whole new ideas so you might may have been in school studying something in English or anything and you go in to look up a book and you see some other things on the on the shelves and that's how you're introduced to them. or at least you look at them you see the bindings and kind of look at the, my hope is that the digital public library for students will give them that sort of an access on a really broad scale and you end up looking at things that you've never seen before so that's kind of in a nutshell